discuss uh, a little bit about paperless, paperless lotteries, and I'll, I'll be somewhat brief. But there's a number of different benefits, uh, and when I say paperless lotteries, what I'm talking about is, is getting rid of paper for the online bet slips, play slips, uh, and ticket stock for uh, wagers. Uh, there's a number of benefits for doing that. Uh, the first one is certainly that it's eco-friendly. Uh, everybody's concerned about that these days, and it, to the extent that we can eliminate paper uh, from what we do, uh, we'll be better off for the uh, environment. Uh, in addition to that, the young people, uh, what do they want? What do they really care about? They care about a lot of things, but they do care very much about the environment. So to the extent that we can give them uh, some reasons for playing and for, for helping the environment, uh, I think we'll be better off. Uh, the next one uh, is for a cost, cost purposes. And what I'd like to do is I, I've developed an estimate of what the U.S. lotteries uh, spend per, per year on paper. And uh, I've got some nice, hopefully winning Florida lottery tickets here. And I'm going to take uh, estimates from the, from the audience. I'll take the first five who raise their hand. Tell me how much you think the U.S. lottery industry spends on paper per year. Anybody want to take a guess? Nobody? So I keep the tickets? 12 million we got, okay. 12 billion. 12 billion one, okay. <laughs> 11999000000000 billion. Anybody else? You're way off, but so somebody else might have to guess. How much? 100 million. Okay, Brian says 100 million. Any, any last takers? 125 million. Okay, what it actually is, according to my estimates, and I think they're fairly close, is... 107 million. Brian wins the tickets. Okay. That's what that's the amount. So, but that, you know, it's funny because most people that I've asked this uh, one to one have guessed low, have guessed very low. But 107 million, if we could save that uh, eventually, uh, it's a, a lot of money going to the bottom line for our good causes. Okay. The third reason for this is that a paperless lottery creates a more secure environment. And I'll explain that a little bit in a minute. I think the first step towards paperless lotteries is a what I will call an e-play slip. Um, we want to be able to give players access to our games anytime, anywhere that they want, uh, literally 24 hours a day. And if we get our products on personal computers, on mobile phones, on tablets, uh, and have a way to have secure transactions with that, uh, we can eliminate paper. And as I said, the first step is to go and I'm sorry, this is just something about coupons and, and online uh, transactions. It's, it's pervasive everywhere, from banking to uh, coupons to airline tickets to movie tickets. Uh, people are going to those types of, of transactions. So the first thing we can do uh, is ask the question, can lotteries go paperless? And I think the answer is yes, eventually they can. The first step is an e-play slip, where a, a player would get an app from an app store, they would make a selection, create a barcode on their mobile phone, and take that barcode to a retailer uh, and present it to the retailer and get, it, get a paper ticket. But this eliminates the play slip. Okay? Also, we have developed something at Interlock called uh, tag and play, or tap and play. And what this is is using NFC technology or near field communication technology on your cell phone. And what you do, I think some of you saw it in Montreal, you just take your cell phone up with the app and you tap on any of these types of things. These are different types of games here. Uh, the left is a numbers game where you just pick your numbers and you get a receipt on your phone, uh, an instant game, or you can even do sports betting on these things. But it's really terrific, not only from that, but from a promotional standpoint. Uh, we can develop a lot of promotions. You can put these, these tags or these posters anywhere. You can put them in bus stops, uh, metro stations, <clears throat> any place, and people can come up and use their phone and just select their numbers or play the games. It's a great way to do it, a great way to get promotions. It's also a great way to drive players into retailers uh, with a cross between the internet and, and the uh, brick and mortar stores. So it's a good way to do that. Okay? 
Another way to do it is to go the total route with an e-ticket. In this case, it does the same thing uh, when they create their play slip on their phone or tablet. Uh, they create a barcode, and then they can enter that barcode along to our central system, and it goes through the central system and it creates a receipt for them, and it comes back on their phone, like in this case, a pick three and their pick three numbers. This also allows uh, the players, if they have an e-wallet or something, again, to get uh, their winnings directly back into their account or on a debit card and that type of thing. So in this case, uh, the paper has been eliminated from an online uh, draw sales transaction. And I think we need to go that way uh, eventually. It's going to take a while, but we need to go that way. The uh, paperless transactions, as I said before, are secure because you have your receipt on your phone. Um, you don't have paper tickets you have to keep track of. Uh, it's available 24-7. You can put responsible gaming on it. Uh, player can limit themselves, or you can set up systems to limit play uh, to certain amounts per day or per week or that type of thing, which we do in, in online gaming as well. So all in all, uh, it's modern technology. It's something that the younger player, I think, will, will adopt and, and embrace. And it's easy. It's convenient. Uh, it's eco-friendly and it is perfect for promotions. Uh, with that, I'll close with one little thought, and that is your biggest competitor is tomorrow, and will you be ready for it? Uh, we have to, have to get going and get ready. Thank you very much.